What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Sean Peterson, I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, we're gonna dive into my screen and break down step-by-step -step how I verify my Amazon products. This is by far the most important part to building a successful Amazon FBA business. It all starts with product research, so I'm gonna be breaking down everything that you guys need to know so that the next product that you launch is going to be a success. But before we dive into it, I want to dive into my seller account give me some credibility and let you know that what I teach is what I implement in my own FBA business. So as you guys can see for the day, I've done just over $1,100. And in the last 12 months, I've done just over 1.1 million. So sales are starting to pick back up. I'm really excited for Q4. And if you guys want to follow along in the journey, then go down, hit the subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so let's dive into the video and let's break down how I go about verifying my products. Like I mentioned, this is one of the most important parts of the entire process. So make sure that you understand how to go about product research and verifying. And before we dive into the, the nitty gritty and the step-by-step, -step, I want to basically lay a foundation for you guys to help you understand why it's important to do research, how I'm going to show you. So the first thing that you need to understand is Amazon is a search engine. So like Google, like YouTube, people are going with a phrase or something in mind, they type it in, what is the weather or what is converting centimeters to inches or whatever their question is, they search something very specific and what does Google do? They find the best result possible. And that's the same thing that Amazon does. If somebody's looking for an iPhone case, they're going to search iPhone case or iPhone case for iPhone 12, for example. And then what Amazon is going to do is they're going to match the products that match that exact keyword. And so what we're doing with product research and verifying is we're trying to find the demand of the product. So how we do that is we find how many people are searching for a specific keyword. And then from there, we need to verify the competition. So how many competing products and what is the average review? So that's very important to understand. So now that you understand that, let's dive into my screen. We're gonna go about verifying this particular product, the outdoor research gloves. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I come across a potential product idea is I'm gonna come over here to the Helium 10 X-ray Chrome extension. And if you guys don't have Helium 10 yet, then you absolutely have to have it in order to verify products. You're gonna get the X-ray Chrome extension and then we're gonna use what's called Helium 10 Cerebro. And if you guys don't have that, then I do have a coupon code down below. Um, I'll show you guys, you guys can come over here and use uh, coupon code AMZChampions50 and you guys can get the platinum plan for 50% off. So I'll put the link down below that is by far going to be the biggest game changer for you, but I am going to be very honest with you. Software tools are not end all be all saving grace kind of thing. You need to understand how to use them. So as cool as they are and as helpful as they are, you now need to educate yourself to know how to use the tools and to read the data. Because if you're just kind of going off random information and you aren't educated, then that's where verifying your product is just going to basically go down the drain. Okay, so pay attention to the following that I'm gonna be breaking down right now. So let's come back here to Amazon. And as you guys can see, um, the X-ray Chrome extension has a ton of data. What What's important? What should we look at? I mean, there's 5 million different things that we can look at, but the first thing that I, that jumps off the page is the search volume. If the search volume is, for example, like 40 or it says NA, that means not a lot of people are searching that particular product, but 3,800 is a, de a decent amount. And if we pull out my calculator, I'm going to do 3,800 divide that by 30 because there's 30 days in a month and 3,800 searches per month. That means on average, about 126 people per day are shopping for this particular product. And now if we do, let's say we get 5% of the sales, that is just over six units per day and the average price is 47. That is about a $300 product per day and it could be more as we rank for other keywords. And so that's kind of the mindset that I have is okay, that's that's some decent search. Um, the price point is pretty good and for the product, I mean, gloves aren't super big. It can't be that expensive, so the profit margins have to be pretty good. The average reviews is 112. That's not too competitive. Anything over like 150, 200 reviews, that's where I'm like, ah, I probably don't wanna launch that. And my rule of thumb, 
is the more the average reviews is, the more you need to differentiate and improve your product. So if you think that you're going to launch, for example, let's say an iPhone case where the average reviews is 6,000 and you're just coming out with a different color, that's not gonna cut it. You have to really be innovated. Like for example, this, uh, this particular case, this Magback wallet where it's magnetic and it clips to my phone, that is innovation. And that is what's going to make you stand out compared to your competition. So that's kind of the mindset that you have to have when it comes to product research. And the lower the average reviews, the less you need to uh, differentiate. But still, regardless, I always want to come to market with something better and improve that really pops off the page. So that's just kind of a pro tip for you guys. Um, so that's something that I'm looking at is the average reviews, the price. I'm looking at the average revenue. So the average revenue is 2,600. Um, that's not bad. That's that's still pretty good um, uh, for this particular product. And um, uh, another thing is, is it's outdoor research gloves. Re uh, these gloves are probably more, um, it's more of a seasonal product. So maybe during the summer, uh, people aren't buying it as much. So maybe as the winter progresses on, there's going to be more search which could be good, but also could be a bad thing because it is seasonal and not as many people, as, not as many people buy during uh, the summer. And so another thing that I'm gonna be looking at is uh, th these charts right here. So I'm gonna click right here and it's gonna kind of show me the rank over time. And so that's something that I can look at from this X-ray Chrome extension. And you can see basically all the data and the trends right there to know, okay, is it seasonal? Is it not? Is this something that I should be concerned about? And those are things that you always need to take into account, okay? There's so many times where people just get tunnel vision and all they look at is, okay, this person is making $10,000, the average reviews is low, I'm gonna launch that product. There's so much, so much more to go about product research. And so that's just the first initial test that I'm looking at. And so far, so good, but there is still more. And like I mentioned at the very beginning, Amazon is a search engine. So we need to look at multiple different keywords. We can't just look at this one keyword and expect, okay, this is our keyword and that's all we're gonna worry about. We need to worry about more than just one keyword. So in the past, what we would do is we would come and find um, the particular product that we're trying to sell. So like this one is kind of what I'm after. Um, it has low reviews. Uh, the reviews aren't as good It's four star. And so I'm like, okay, this is a potential product and this is something similar to what I want to launch. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this ASIN, come over here into Cerebro and plug it in. But now with Helium 10, they made an update where you don't have to do that. You literally click two buttons and boom, it's in Cerebro. So it's kind of cool. You hit this check, bo uh, this check box and then you hit another one and then you hit run in Cerebro. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up and it's basically going to pull the search for you. So you don't have to go in and manually copy and paste. And I know that that may sound silly, but when you're looking at hundreds of products, time is everything. If you guys can save 10, 30, a 30 seconds per product, that's huge. And that's what this is going to do for you. And so that's why I highly recommend getting Helium 10 because just like that, I hit a few buttons and boom, it's here in Cerebro. So what Cerebro is, it does a reverse ASIN lookup, which essentially means it's going in and mining the keywords that the particular products are ranking for. And this is huge for us because we literally know exactly where this particular product is getting their sales from. What keywords, what is the demand of the keywords and how many competing products. And that's why I absolutely love this tool and I cannot live without it. So again, if you guys want uh, the Helium 10 um, discount, it will be down in the description. It's AMZ Champions 50, and you guys can get it um, tested out and you'll see for yourself that you can't live without it. So right here we have 1200 keywords. That is a lot of keywords to be looking at. So what we're gonna do is we're going to filter it out, the position rank one to 20. And for those that have watched my video uh, in the past, I've broken this down, but I just want to reiterate and pound it in your head because you guys need to understand how to do this. Because if not, you're going to fail your product. So right here, position rank one to 20, that basically means I'm looking at products only on the first page. Search volume, I only really want to deal with um, keywords that are being searched uh, 300 times, anything else. I mean, I could still rank for, but um, it's pretty insignificant. So I'm gonna hit apply, and we're going to see that this number of 1200 is going to drop down to only nine keywords. So that can be good and bad. And the 
biggest red flags that I'm seeing right here is there's one keyword that has good search, outdoor research gloves at 3,800 searches, and the other ones are not being searched near as much. So for me, I'm like, okay, well, there's demand for this, but all these other ones, there's just not that much demand. And maybe it's because it's a winter product and it's a little bit more seasonal and we haven't approached uh, winter quite yet. So maybe that's why, and maybe I'll come back and check. But other than that, the search, if, if the search was all like above 600, let's say, this product would be killer. I mean, the competing products is super, super low. The Cerebro IQ score is super, super high. Um, the eight day giveaways, you don't have to do like you don't have to, it's not gonna be that difficult to rank this particular product. And so for me, I'm like, okay, that's exciting, but the keyword demand may not quite be there. So those are things that you just need to look at. And what I'm looking for is I'm trying to find between, and there's no hard number, five to 10 keywords that add up to more than 10,000. Okay, that's not a hard number. If it's a little less, if it's more, obviously that's fine, but I'm trying to find keywords and products that are being searched at least 10,000 times per month between all the different keywords. And here I I might be there. I'm I'm pushing it, but there's just there's just not that much search and another big concern is it could be a seasonal product. And so that's kind of how I go about verifying and using these different filters using Cerebro and this new feature that Helium 10 added by clicking the little check boxes right here and then running in uh, run in Cerebro literally is game changer. Like I mentioned, if you can save 30 seconds each product that you're researching, that's all you need, okay? So get Helium 10, understand how to go about product research and get a feel for it. It's going to take some time, it is a learning curve. Uh, I have a lot of students, I have a lot of people messaging me, uh, comments in um, the public Facebook group and whatnot. And I would say product research is where people struggle the most. And you need to realize I've been at this for three years and I've kind of understood, I've just kind of learned the process and I've had to bang my head up against the wall 500 times before I finally figured it out. And so you just need to stick with it understand that yes, there is a learning curve, but once you do understand it, it's like you know it like the back of your hand. And that's kind of where I'm at right now is I just know right off the get go, okay, this is a bad product, this is a good product, on to the next, this one's good and this one's bad. And if you guys want a little bit more help from me, I do have a full A to Z mentorship program. It's amzchampions.com. And a part of that mentorship program, it comes with product verification. So if you guys are concerned about a product that you're looking to launch and you're still not quite sure, then what you can do is you can send it my way and I will take the time to go through the process and verify it just like I did here, but it will be your own personal product that you're looking to launch. And if it's a red flag and if, there's something that concerns me, I'm gonna tell you to not launch it, which will save you thousands of dollars in mistakes. But if it's good, then I can give you the confidence to move forward forward with that particular product and you can just go ahead and launch it. So that's the goal with the mentorship program is to give you access to me so that I can verify and help you really, really skyrocket your business and make sure that your products that you're launching are going to be successful. And that's what I'm trying to offer. So if you guys are interested, go to amzchampions.com. I'll put the link down below. And that is everything that I have for you guys today. I have tons of more videos uh, coming at you. I have a lot of videos on the channel, so check them out. And again, if you guys want to enroll and become one of my students, I'd love to make you my next success story. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to go like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. And I just wanna say thank you for the support and we will see you in the next video.